Every single day, someone somewhere in Kenya suffers from malaria or malaria-like symptoms, if not fever. With that, many prefer self-diagnosis and treatment using over-the-counter anti-malarial drugs. Such dangerous behaviors have become a common practice among Kenyans. In rural areas, far distances to health centers and an urgent need to get treatment contribute to self-treatment from herbal medicines. Ugonjwa wa malaria tulikuwa tukiupata kutoka kitabu na tulikuwa tunajitibu na mkilifi. Tunauchemsha, tunajifukiza, tunatoka jasho, alafu tunapata madawa ya kupunguza maumivu na tunapona. Naitwa Asha Rua, ni mkazi wa Kakazengo. Nina mtoto wa mwaka mmoja na miezi minne. Alipoanza homa la malaria, alianza na mwili moto kutapika ile yelo alipoanza kutapika yelo ndo sasa nikaanza kumnilia dawa za hospitali nilipoona hazi mfai ndo nikampeleka hospitalini nilipofika hospitalini daktari akampima akamdunga sindano ya kidole akampeleka hiyo damu ndani akaenda akaipima nilika robo saa nilipoka hapo ndo akanletea majibu akasema mtoto wako yuko na malaria lakini ulikalisha sana sababu hata sasa ilikuwa yaanza kuingia ingia ndani ya mifupa Malaria continues to be a leading cause of morbidity and mortality in Kenya and accounts for 30% of outpatient admittance and up to 5% of inpatient deaths, while 170 million working days are lost annually because of it. Watu waligonjeka, wengine hawakuweza kutengeneza kazi zao za nyumbani. Wanafunzi walikosa kwenda shuleni. Tukakaa nyumbani bila kufanya kazi yoyote kwa sababu ya kuugua ugonjwa wa malaria. The government of Kenya through the Ministry of Health recognizes malaria as a health and socio economic burden and considers malaria control a priority investment. Most counties in malaria endemic regions are also in the front line to eradicate malaria and like the national government they too have adopted the vision of a malaria free Kenya as enshrined in the national strategic plan 2009 to 2017. Currently, the focus is in the malaria endemic provinces of Nyanza, Western and parts of coast where efforts of achieving universal 100% net coverage and at least 80% net use is on course. In treatment, the adoption of the effective malaria rapid testing kit MRDT is the latest good news. Initially, we, we never had a good coverage of the diagnostic sites because in the whole county, I approximate around 25 out of the 73 facilities of the laboratories that is for microscopy to detect the malaria parasite in blood but of late with the devolution we have been able to procure the test kits for facilities which have no laboratories or even the ones which have laboratories and their power surges or even the staff are not enough for continuous testing so now we are able to test all malaria cases in the county The journey towards a malaria-free Kenya has been long and winding. In 2004, Kenya changed its malaria treatment policy, opting for the use of atemisinin-based combination therapy ACT for uncomplicated malaria. This became a more effective treatment regimen. But even with that, it was noted that a case management requires that patients are accurately diagnosed and appropriate treatment given. We fought the war and uh, we are winning the war uh, against malaria. So we have localized our interventions to address this uh, in the country. In October of 2012, the Ministry of Health launched Malaria Rapid Diagnostic Test Kits MRDT to answer to the need of accurate test, marking another milestone in the fight against malaria. The use of the Rapid Diagnostic Test Kit has improved the reach, speed and accuracy of diagnosis and treatment of malaria. Kuna watu wamekuja na wanakuja anasema wako na malaria. Ukiwasikiza wakati mwingine unaona inaweza kuwa ni bacteria infection. Ya ndio maana nikataka hizi test kit. Ndio una confirm first. In 2012, the Ministry of Health rolled out rapid diagnostic tests in the public sector targeting the lower level health facilities. But there is very little penetration of rapid diagnostic tests that we call RDTs in the private sector. And so this project is about the introduction of RDTs in the private sector 
in order to improve the management of um, malaria. In this project, we have an MREDT register which is filled on a day-to-day -day basis. And at the end of the week, the healthcare provider does a summary of the uh, clients he has been treating during that week. The 2010 Malaria Indicator Survey points out that the malaria prevalence in the country is dropping from 40% to lower than 20% across the country, with low transmission areas having prevalence of below 1%. And with that, in an effort to scale up the intervention and keep the momentum of success, the government, through the Ministries of Health, with support from various development partners, procured approximately 8 million malaria rapid diagnostic test kits for distribution and use at health facilities across the country in 2012 and a further procurement of 11 million in 2013. That came with compulsory training on their use and also reporting of the test results. In this program, we have the component of training. This is because some of, some of our facilities, especially the pharmacies, do not have the tradition of lab testing. So we need to empower them so that they get the knowledge as to what to do or how to interpret the results once they have done the MRDT testing. The MRDT is portable. You can even visit the patient in the house and do the, the test. It is cost effective because you know in the microscope you have to buy the reagents, you have to have the source of power, and then you have to you need to get the to buy the microscope. While this one, you just get the gadget, it contains everything, you do it and get the results. So at least it becomes cost effective to us and at the same time we are reducing the cost of treating malaria to the patient. With adequate training, healthcare providers trained laboratory technicians and technologists, pharmaceutical technologists, nurses and doctors can use RDTs effectively achieving acceptable results only comparable with the results obtained by an experienced microscopist. It is also possible to train unskilled but willing community health workers to become reliable and competent in the use of MRDTs. The deployment of RDTs by Malaria Control Unit has in essence expanded diagnostic coverage all the way down to the dispensaries and in other instances to the community health workers. Elimu tunayopata sasa hii inatusaidia kwamba ukiwa uko wasikia homa ukiwa yani wasikia kitu chochote usikimbilie dukani kununua vivi vidawa vidogo vidogo ambavyo hujajijua uko na ugonjwa gani uko na ugonjwa gani Vifaa hivi vipya ukipimwa huwa ni vizuri kwa sababu wajoni ya mwenyewe yale majibu yako na muda hauchukui muda kama vile vipaa vya kitambo vipaa vya kitambo huo kipimo wakaa wangoja majibu basi na kaa muda mrefu Population Services Kenya commonly known as PS Kenya is currently involved in training of frontline health workers on the use of MRDTs in lower level facilities in various parts of the country as well as provision of technical assistance to ensure that RDTs and other malaria commodities are managed appropriately at the facility level This project is funded by a number of donors so we have DFID and we also have UNITAID. So we have the WHO, the World Health Organization. We also have the Malaria Consortium. Then we also have uh, John Hopkins University, who also supporting with the qualitative research. So we also have FIND as part of this consortium, who overseeing the, um, the quality assurance bit of the project. So that's sort of at a global consortium level for this project. But in the country, we also work with a number of partners. Of course, we have the Ministry of Health Malaria Control Unit we work very closely with. They have implemented this project in the public sector with pretty good success, and so we have a lot to borrow from them as well. And then we're also working with the Kenya Medical Lab Technologists and Technicians Board, who also support with quality assurance. Uh, we are working with the county structures on the ground, so the county malaria uh, office and the sub-county malaria offices um, at the coast region. Then, of course, we are working in the private sector, and this is really the private clinics and pharmacies. Heren, kwa bila jokila siku msee na huduma za MRDT zina manu fama zo sana, manji sana, amba gula zima uwe. On the other hand, the general population has been made aware of these rapid testing kits through the numerous media campaigns. Key to their awareness is a behavior change communication on radio, 
roadshows and visible mounted public messages. <laughs> And the savings are big. Whereas a malaria rapid test kit costs approximately 90 shillings, the retail cost for AL medicines used for malaria treatment costs approximately 450 shillings. Correct diagnosis saves the government and the patient some 360 shillings in unnecessary treatment costs for malaria negative cases. Additionally, the threat of parasites becoming resistant to medicines is reduced if diagnosis-based treatment is used. This subsequently increases the useful therapeutic life of the available medicines and reduces the chances of changing treatment to more expensive alternatives.